I think that you could make the argument that today was one of the best days in the NRL's regular season history, and it could may as well be the best day for the New Zealand Warriors franchise, maybe outside of making those two grand finals, but until they win the Premiership, I think this day will go down as one of the best in that club's history. The Warriors finally got to return to New Zealand in front of a packed out Mount Smart Stadium, which has been sold out for over a week now. And I tell you what, they turned it on. They weren't great in terms of execution, the Warriors, but they played with so much energy, so much passion. I was pretty concerned before kickoff because I thought there was something about the Tigers where they would lose both their Tommy Radonikis Memorial Games last year and then spoil, and it wouldn't surprise me if the Warriors were a bit flat returning home, but as soon as I saw that crowd, as soon as I saw the boys walk out, there was no way the Warriors were losing this game. In terms of the actual on-field product today, I thought it was the best bottom four game I've seen in a while. Both teams definitely turned up. The Tigers, they hang in there for that first 20 minutes, but then I think in the latter stages, the fatigue definitely got to them. They look a bit confused. It's great to see Hastings finally being given the captaincy, but I'm still concerned that maybe the Tigers don't seem as a long-term seven, which to me is the obvious thing to do. They're still working out where they want to play Dewey, still working out where they got to play Brooks. The only really unfortunate thing in this game in terms of returning to New Zealand was some of the crowd members. Shout out to the guy who was doing shoeies in front of Stacey Jones' coaching box. He was a legend. But the three pitch invaders, look, it was funny when it first happened at the start of this year, but we're getting them almost every game now, and it's starting to get really annoying in the players as well. Not to be a Debbie Downer, but yeah, I'm getting a bit tired of it now. But the Warriors back in the New Zealand look. Like I said, they lacked a bit of execution. So if they can find a way to execute better, but they show that energy and intensity now that they're back in New Zealand, while I don't think they will, maybe they can push themselves back into finals contention. I don't think any team mathematically is ruled out completely yet. Maybe the Tigers after this game, but... Who knows, the Warriors back in New Zealand, maybe they can. It'll be interesting to see, but a good win for the Warriors. Great to see them return to New Zealand. Hopefully the fans can keep this up. Hopefully they can sell out every game for the rest of the year because they deserve it. But guys, let me know in that comment section below your thoughts on the game. Smash that like button if you want to see more footy content. And subscribe if you haven't already. Obviously we're on the road to 3,000, so if you haven't, Please consider it. Just subscribe and then unsubscribe when I hit 3,000. That's all you have to do. It's completely free and you can know that you made a man's day. But guys, there we go. The Warriors have finally played a game in New Zealand for the first time since 2019.